What is cracking, guys? We are back week 10 against our boy, the Prince Aldo. The one and only Prince of NGC right here, so. Um, without a doubt, I had to use one of his artworks. Something he submitted like a season or two ago is our boy Quaggy P. So thank you very much for this piece of beauty right here, um, Aldo. And I will show you what he's cooking with um, this season. Our boy, um, he has a nice team. He has a very, very nice team, but he just hasn't been playing as good as um, we know he could. He's 4-5 and five this season. And actually in danger of missing the playoffs. I mean, just last season, he was the runner-up. He lost in the finals, so... Yeah, it was pretty wild. It was pretty wild indeed. Uh, considering the team he has is... I mean, it's pretty stacked. He should be... Uh, he should be in the playoff picture for sure. So. But, um... Yeah, <laughs> he's 4-5. and five. I think we beat him this season. Unfortunately, uh, um, this week, we take him out of the playoffs, so... We'll see what happens. Um, I actually been very busy this week with the uh, PWC battles and a bunch of other shit that's been going on. Um, so I just cooked up a team on my lunch break and it's kind of iffy. So he actually does have a good chance to win against me this week. Um, it's not a must win. We have two more weeks, right? We have week 10 and then week 11 and then it's playoff time. Uh, neither of the next two games are must wins for me, so I'm just gonna be cooking up really, really um, funky teams, <laughs> as you will see in a moment. But yeah, his team has Tapu Lele, his old pal Mega Charizard X, uh, Escadrill, Noivern, Corsola, um, what do you call it? Galarian Corsola, Mantine, um, Bronzong, Weezing, Escavalier, Electros, Lopunny, and Septel. So, yeah, I like the team. It has a lot of my old favorites, too. Well, Noivern, um, Septel, Electros, Escavalier, Weezing, Bronzong, who he stacked for me in the draft. <laughs> so, yeah, I like his team. And uh, you just always have to be wary of Mega Charizard X, especially when there's a Tapu Lele next to it. So, yeah, I have my work cut out for me, and you will see what I'm bringing right now and why I think it's really goofy. Um, you know, he lost in the finals due to, um, I believe, Fractalus, like, spamming Trick Room. So I'm actually going to take the page out of her book and um, go super slow. I'm not going to try to outspeed things like Scarf Lele, Noivern, um, Dragon Dance Charizard. We're actually going to um, slow down things and go Trick Room. My fastest mon being Crocodile. But everything else wants to be in the Trick Room. So that's the route I'm taking this week. We're just going to go super bulky, slow, bulky, and uh, hit hard. You know, we have a Raccoonid and Drampa who, um, yeah, they're super slow. But you don't want to be eating attacks from them. And same with Magnezone too. We have Magnazone here, it's actually Magnet Pool for um, Escadrill. So, yeah, that's my team. So, uh, hopefully it works out. I fully expect them to bring uh, Lele, Charizard X, um, Escadrill, and Corsola. Corsola is such a bitch for me to handle. I hate playing that thing. So, that's actually the reason I'm bringing Crocodile. We have Toxic and Taunt. So, that's how I'm going to stop Corsola. Um, the last two Pokemon could be anything, but I think I could see, um, Weezing, maybe, maybe Noivern comes, but I'd be wary of him bringing, um, bringing, um, two dragons to the party, so. I think Weezing makes more sense, and the last bit will probably be Electros, but it could be anything. It's just, I guess, and like I said, I didn't spend too much time, um, I kind of have my week 10 team and week 11 built already, and I just threw it all together. Like I said, it's not must wins for me, I'm really more worried on the PWC league right now. 
So it is what it is. We, um, I'm about to go to bed. I'm dead tired. Uh, and we will battle our friend after work tomorrow. So it is what it is. So let's try to win. But more importantly, let's have fun. I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Yo, guys, um, we're here. We're about to fight the Prince Aldo, my ninja. <laughs> As you know, I'm just glad he's healthy. I'm glad he's safe. Um, before I send it, tell me your New Year New Year's resolutions. Maybe you have one. Maybe you have many. I got two that are that are on the top of my mind, and I've been working on at least one of them already, and have been putting in almost daily work on it. Uh, my first one is to learn how to drive stick shift and as you know I just bought a stick shift car without really knowing how to drive it and yeah just driving it to work and back is a lot of practice and I still take like 20 plus minutes every evening to learn um, get more familiar with it I've had my car for a little over a month at this point and we still got a lot of work to do um, I haven't tried driving out on the freeway I haven't done any hill work, which is a big thing. I don't know if you guys drive stick or not, but yeah, I, pretty soon I gotta work on hills. Um, second resolution of mine is to um, get back to trying to learn Spanish. So yeah, I got at least two books on me. So I need to, I need to really work on that this year. But if you have any resolutions you wanna share with me, I know it's pretty late. In the year um, I'm recording this on January 24th but if you have any resolutions you made for yourself let me know down below if you could if you could share them you know <laughs> um, I'm just gonna send it this one's just for fun it's not a must win for me it's a must win for Aldo if you want wants to make the playoffs so um, I have not practiced at all with this team I have not practiced at all I know he's had a busy week. I've had a very busy week. I just made this um, on one of my lunch breaks and didn't bother practicing. So, um, in the previous screen um, scene, I told you guys I was going to bring a Rakranid, but today I changed that to Clefable. I just felt Clefable handles um, stuff like Tapulele better, handles Noivern better. I didn't want Noivern being the thing because, um, who knows. <laughs> Araquanid was not bad, but I did like Unaware Clefable a little bit more. That could come back and bite me in the ass, but we will see in a moment. So good luck, have fun. And I am recording very good. <laughs> Listening now? Yes, very good. And, um, okay, it's kind of bad that we brought Clefable, I guess. Here's Tapulele. Uh, Clefable outspeeds Escavalier, but now my Trick Room strategy... Yeah, Clefable was not the bring. <laughs> Clefable was not the bring. It helps for Tapulele and outspeeding Escavalier outside of Trick Room. Okay. We're just going to get rocks up turn one. I feel. He doesn't have defog outside of Weezing. Weezing. You know what? I think Cantonian Weezing doesn't get defog, but Galarian Weezing does. Last time I checked. Crocodile. There's Escadrill. That's fine with me. Um, We get Intimidate. I'm going to Stealth Rock up. As he does the same thing. We could knock off. I don't think he stays in. We're gonna knock off. I don't think he stays in. I could really hurt him. Um, he could go into, he has two levitate mods. Here's E Electros. We're gonna knock off what, AV. Okay. And we could, um, Electros. Let's say he doesn't have an item though. Those, I don't wanna give him a free Giga Drain. I either want to switch out if we don't knock them out. He might let me... I don't know. I don't know. 
I'll knock off, but I don't want him giga draining me. Because I think I need the crocodile. There's actually a decent chance that. Yeah, he could he could live this. So I'm actually gonna go into someone else, I think. Giga Drain. U turn. Okay. I should have just. I should have let him do it. Okay. <coughs> Here's Weezing. We're gonna switch back out. Probably goes Poison. I do have a Steel type. But Weezing should outspeed me. Weezing. Magna Zone. I do like Magnezone for a top of though. Um... Let's see what, how corrupt hand this is. We can knock off Taunt. Weezing outspeeds my Magnezone, I believe. Yeah, um, we'll go Crook. Crook does job. <laughs> We're gonna knock off whatever item you may have. I expect, okay, see? That's why I didn't go Magnezone. Um, good play by Otto's part. We are gonna knock off, knock off lefties, I think, or a Rocky Helmet, even better. Clear Smog. That's okay. We are going to taunt in case he wants to lay up T spikes. Nope. And I say, I think I say goodbye to Crook, which is pretty big because I kind of wanted him for Mascadrill. First kill of the game. <laughs> He has clear smog for any setup. Um, we need to take this boy out quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, we need to take him out quickly. Shadow Ball might do it. Um, how do I take him out? Oh, uh, we had weakness policy earlier. Okay, to take these out. We could use um, Drampa, Claydol, Clefable. <laughs> Here's Tapulele. I'm okay with this. Um, I'm gonna trick Room. This time I'm gonna fucking either rest or use um, Shadow Ball over and over. Lele, uh, T-Bolt, 
See, that's why I didn't bring a rat grenade. I thought it would have people. Um, Thunderbolt. I thought it might have, um, T-Bolt, so. T-Bolt, dude. It might be modest and not timid. Shuttle Ball is going to do a lot. Yeah, this Shuttle Ball, I don't really need this mod too much. It would be cool if I had Lumberry, but I don't. Now I could probably go Drampa. I could also go. Um, what helps more? What does more work? Um, would Clefable's Moonblast be enough? We'll just go Flash Cannon and see what happens. Um, Okay. <laughs> Trick room's coming through. Thank God to um, Copper Grigus is putting in the mattest to work. We have air balloon. We're going to do um, two hidden power fires, I believe, at this point. Escavalier. Or Escadrill, I mean. That does a lot. Earthquake doesn't work on air balloon. He might go Charizard. Oh, he has one more. I have to go hit him Power Fire. Unless Flash Cannon does it. Hidden Power Fire would have been good here. Ooh! The crunch, though. Nice AV. Oh, I took off. <laughs> I took off, um, what do you call it? Um, I took off, um, I took off, um, uh, Flamethrower last minute. I think we're going to be good either way, but let's see, Choice Fan against Drampa. I think we live. And this is close combat, but we outspeed. Oh! Oh crap. Um but that's if your choice ban. If your choice ban iron head, you don't knock us out. I wonder if he's A V. Hold on, there's one way to look. Clay doll, shadow ball. He might be Shadow Ball. No, he's not he's not A V. He's not AV. He might be banded. We're gonna find out right now. No, no, we're not gonna find out. We're gonna. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> uh, we continue our little mini winning streak in NGC. Woo! Okay, props, man. Props. Uh, we got one more week left. Twinkly Nova, our girl Lana Co. Lana Rose, whatever you want to call her. And then we go to our playoffs. So I'm um, looking at it. No matter if I lose next week. I think we secured a top two seed, meaning we get a first round bye, meaning I finally get out of the first round. First time since um, season two, my friends. So I'm pretty hyped for that. Um, if that's the case, we only have to do semifinals. And then if I move on, we'll be back in the finals after all this time, nearly what, a year and a half, two years. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let you go. Word to the Gengar. <laughs> I'm let you guys go. I need to prepare for my PWC match, and then um, yeah, I need to get some sleep. So, props to Aldo. Sorry for the wait, and I'm just happy you're healthy, man. I'm happy you're healthy. You guys, thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you on the next one. Woo!